Welcome to another episode on our channel. As you know, I'm trying to do the civilian counterpart to a number of my superheroes that I have, this one being Henry Cavill as Superman, Hot Toys. So I am going to do my best to come up with the civilian version, the Clark Kent version. So we'll pause now. I'll I'll put uh, this guy to the side and I'll show you what I'm working with. So I have a Henry Cavill head and this comes without a neck. So I have to use a body with a neck. And since Henry Cavill is so muscular, I will have to use thigh enhancers. And I have his hands picked out. Let's just put them here. There we go. And I have his clothing picked out. And I have the shoes picked out. I already have something in here. I'll explain what this is in a second, but here, here are the shoes. All right. And she has a neck peg in here. On the off chance that that doesn't work, I'll use the original neck peg that was in the body initially. All right. And basically what you saw in this foot is a foot extension piece. So it heightens the body, makes it much bigger. And I think that's appropriate for Superman. So we'll we'll pause. Let me get some hot water and we'll begin the process. So I'm going to start with a body that already has a neck because Henry Cavill doesn't have a neck. And since the arms are muscular, I'm good there, but the legs are a little too thin for Henry Cavill, so I'm going to put on on him some thigh enhancers. So it should go on fairly easily, which it does. All right, let me put them on both legs. And what I want to do is I want to make sure after I get the pants on that they're they're as close to the top as they can be. All right, so there we go. They do add some width to the legs. All right, so having put those on, I do want to put the pants on first. and make sure they slip over and fit. Otherwise, I'll have to find a different pair of pants. Fit his enhanced legs. And it looks like it's gonna fit. I probably won't snap them together quite yet. But you can see the legs do look a little bulkier as a result of the thigh enhancers. All right. So the shirt is this one. It's nice when they're, uh, instead of button on, those are a pain to try to get the buttons in. It's nice when it's Velcro. So this one is Velcro. I'm gonna put his arms behind him and a little bent in to get the shirt on. Let me put him down, it'll probably be easier this way. All 
There we go. Make sure the arms are feeling like they're fitting nicely, and they are. So since it's Velcro, all I need to do is Velcro this in place, which is so much easier to do. Pull his pants down just a touch. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna tuck his shirt in, snap the pants together, All right, make sure those enhancers are as far up as I can get them. Now I need to buckle the belt, but it's starting to come together very nicely. This is a belt I made. I had some metal belt buckles, used some leather, and basically made these belts. Couldn't find my square stand, so I'm borrowing another stand for now. But here he is so far. Yeah. So you might have noticed this little thing in the shoe. Put it down here. Yeah. So what these are are leg extenders. And what you need to do is just place them into the opening peg hole, put the peg in there, snap it in. So I'm going to need some hot water to do this. It tends to work a lot better that way. I already have one foot situated. Just wanted to show you how to do the other foot. So here is the shoe. Here is the leg extender. And all I'm going to do is just push that in. Voila. <laughs> it is in. All right. So the next step is to get these feet onto the ends of the legs in terms of the pants or underneath the pants. And I'll show you how it goes in line. Actually, I can have this in the wings while we're waiting for this one. All right, so this is the left foot. You can see the opening here. And all it does is it just, it just goes in like that. Couldn't be easier. So he's almost done. We just need to get hands on him. All right, so I'm gonna use these two hands. <laughs> Let me put those in hot water. And so now I have his left hand, which already has a peg on it. Hot water, again, it's like my friend, <laughs> hot water. All right, so the last thing I need to do is to put the head on. So let me warm this up. He's starting to look very good. All right, so uh, we have our beginnings, not quite the end. I do want to accessorize him. And I wanted to do something special with the stand. Okay, so there he is. I kind of like this pose, actually, but I don't know if I'll keep it. We'll pause for a second and get uh, the Batman, the Batman, the Superman out, so you can see them side by side. We still have to do some accessorizing, and I want to do something special with the stand using a wooden base and something a little more in keeping with the Man of Steel. All right, so we'll pause and 
get both figures out so you can see them side by side. Here's a look at our civilian dressed Henry Cavill as Clark Kent and Superman. Um, I think they look good together, but we're still not done with him. We need to accessorize him and put him on an appropriate stand. So if you've liked what you've seen, we're still not done yet, but if you've liked what you've seen so far, please consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. In the meantime, everyone, please have a great day.